Hi, my name is Jeremy Shines, and today I have an important message. This is I Am Love Church. So this morning, um, before I head out, uh, the Lord spoke to me again about something very interesting. And uh, I want you guys to hear it, so I'm just going to go right in for it. Uh, long story short is this. There's a difference between the subject and the context. I'm the subject. The b background is the context. So, one of the interesting scriptures is when Peter is walking across the water to see Jesus, Peter's thoughts are all over the place. So he's paying attention more to the context, more than he's paying attention to the subject, which is Jesus. And that's the way it can be with our lives as well. We pay attention more to what's happening around us, more than what's happening right in front of us, where God wants to lead, lead us. And if we look back at the Old Testament, um, when Moses was traveling with Israel, what was supposed to only take four weeks took 40 years because of the children of Israel kept focusing on what was happening around them more than they were focusing on what was God doing right before them in their right before their eyes and what they had to do and God wants you to focus on him reading your Bible is how you can do that praying and seeking his face more than you're focusing on what's happening around you and so many times the difference that so many times what happens is when we're given a ministry and it starts to flourish and it starts to grow, we as ministers start to focus on what's happening around us more than we're focusing on what's happening right in front of us or what God wants us to focus on. He doesn't want you to focus on how big your ministry is growing in the, in, the, in the building, in the physical things. For the physical things and the context will always change the background <clears throat> but right what's before you is what is eternal which is the Lord or ministering to people who need to know the Lord or helping people I found this uh, true to as far as church we focus more on the building which is fading and passing away more than we focus on the people and that's not love and that's not what God wants us to focus on he wants us to focus and love the people the subject more than we love the context because the context is going to change the knowledge and wisdom is going to change my clothes are going to change the days and nights are going to change your house or wherever you're at they're going to change but what's important is the person that you're with that is what's greater the single sheep is what's more important than the 99 of the things that are happening around us. I remember uh, I had a friend, he took his life very recently and I spent a lot of money just basically wanting to hang out with him and we went go-kart racing and he took his life. It was a terrible experience and it was a lot of grieving for me and especially for the people of his family. But what was more important in that time wasn't how much money I spent to hang out with him. It was always about me and him spending time with each other. And that's how it is with our Christian lives, how it should be. It shouldn't be about who has, keeping up with the Joneses, who has the bigger house, who has uh, the nicer clothes and the stuff. It's not ever gonna, shouldn't ever be about the stuff. It should always be about the relationship. And that is where eternal life dwells. So, but so many times living in the world, we get caught up on what's happening around us. Instead of focusing on the person right in front of us, we get tuned into like, I can't wait for this conversation to be over so I can move on. Or I can't wait to do this and do this and this and this. When Jesus is saying, be still, be patient, and stop focusing on the things that are happening around you but focus on the person who's in front of you. One on one, be, be nurturing, be in the here and in the now. 
Do not plan for tomorrow and do not look back at the past. Do not stray to the left or to the right. He says, focus on the here and now. That is where I am. That is where you'll find life. Focus on the person and the people that you're with and the time that you're having because before you know it, it's going to be over. So many times we find ourselves looking back at old pictures, thinking to ourselves, man, I had a good time and I wish that I could relive that and go back and spend time with those people. But Jesus is saying this, he's saying that time is over. I've called you to live right now with the people that you're with right now, to love the people that you're with in your job, wherever you're at right now. That is your ministry. That is who Jesus was and is and is to come. So focus on the narrow road right here. Who am I with? That is my ministry. Whether it's your spouse, whether it's your neighbor, whether it's the people that you work with, that is your ministry. It's not ever going to be about the building, about the context. The context is just foreshadowed, but we stand in the light in the presence of the Lord and with each other. We have the glory and image of God. The context is just a shadow and it's always changing. The time is changing. The clothes are changing. The knowledge is changing, but God in us, we live forever. And that's what's important. Love your neighbor, treat each other with respect, believe in each other, lift each other up, value each other more than you value what's happening around you. Because all the beauty and all the things that we see here today will pass away, but our love for each other will remain forever. I thank you for watching. God bless.